Ever wonder how streamers are able to use Streamlabs chatbot to have audio in their channel from different commands from Yeet to Leroy Jenkins? In this video, I'm going to show you how. Hey guys, my name is Turgo Live. Thank you so much for checking out the video today, and we're going to be going over the Streamlabs chatbot. Now, this, the chatbot actually has many different uses. You can use it for like song requests, uh, different uh, giveaways that you want to do in your channel, as well as other websites do that as well. But what we're going to really be focusing on is the sound files within the Streamlabs chatbot. Um, like, so for example, you could do Yeet, you could do Clap. You can do whatever you whatever sound file you want. You can find it on myinstance.com. I'll go ahead and show you that on the video today. Um, one thing is, is make sure you definitely do subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn the notifications on. It does help me out a lot. Um, I'm able, able to help more and more people. And also leave a comment below like of a, any other tutorials that you would like me to make. And with that, let's get on over to the video. All right, guys, so I'm on streamlabs.com forward slash chatbot up here in the URL here. If you go to that website, that will bring you to the proper place so you can download the chatbot. Now, if you do scroll down here, it does show all the compatibilities with each platform, Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer of different things that you can use the bot for. Um, and so what we're going to go ahead and do is work on downloading that now here. And I'll wait for my computer to download that. <laughs> Okay, now once that loads up here, you'll follow all the prompts that your computer does want you to do. You will accept the agreement so you can use the bot. Um, and then it'll designate a location for you to download it. Uh, I've already installed it before, so that's why it prompted me there. And then you can choose right here if you would like to create a desktop shortcut. So we're gonna go ahead and let that load here. All right, and then go ahead and click finish and it'll load up the chatbot there, here. Okay, and now it's gonna go ahead and set you up through the setup wizard here. And then you go ahead and click start and then you go ahead and choose your plat platform of choice, okay. And then it's gonna go ahead and run a, a basic system check on your uh, computer. Um, you may or may not see this if you've used Streamlabs, uh, like Slobs OBS here, so you may, may or not see it. Um, it is gonna have you do a verification here. All right, guys, it does have you go through that whole verification process. This is what it shows after you have done that here. For the sakes of this video, we're gonna go ahead and just leave all the settings just the same here, and then we're gonna go ahead and click Next, and then Finish. And then it's gonna load up the bot here, and really it's gonna have all the different options that are available to you within the bot. So from again, giveaways, quotes, timers, commands, subscribers, everything that you do uh, normally and you can use uh, generally here. Um, one thing is, is down here at the bottom, you would wanna generate another token, okay? And then once you generate that token again, you would be able to link your bot to the chat, okay? And then you would click the connect button. For the sake of time of this video, I am not gonna connect again here, um, but you would wanna make sure you click on the little icon down here so you can do that connect point, all right? Now you would be on this, so you would be able to do the sound files here, okay? You'd wanna make sure you enable it first, all right? And then up here would be the edit button. But first, we do have to get a sound from uh, my instance. Um, let's just say, for example, we're gonna use, uh, here, let me turn down that audio so it doesn't blare in our ears here. Okay, Chewbacca. Um, what you would wanna do is click on that, then you would download that MP3. Now, you can do any uh, media website that you do wanna do. Um, but for uh, this is just one website that I use for my stream here uh, Go ahead and click that download and then uh, You would want to of course find out where that file location is uh, So that because it's gonna have you route and get that once you are in the chat bot here So I'm gonna do edit or excuse me. I'm gonna do add 
and then you can name it let's just name it chewy okay um, you could do with the exclamation mark or without the exclamation mark um, and you could change the volume settings right here however you want up or down um, and then you would pick your sound file so if we go through the root uh, memory that I did have here um, you're gonna go to where that was and then downloads and then you're gonna go ahead and download that there okay and so you have that mp3 and then you're gonna pick it um, you could preview it here okay but you would want to click on the automatically generated command okay first of all this is this changes right here the cooldown in your channel on how much people can spam that that command because of course you don't want people spamming it way too much there's certain commands that I have no, like at zero minutes and people can spam it right away all the time there uh, but others like Leroy Jenkins it gets uh, very repetitive so what I do is I kind of raise that up to like you know 10 15 minutes so it doesn't blast every three seconds um, and then you would go ahead and once you have all those settings and the volume some of these um, mp3s you have to adjust the volume accordingly because some come in really loud some come in very low so you can change that there and then go ahead and click submit and then your command is right there uh, exclamation mark chewy um, and then when you were to say for example you were to type that into the chat um, you would be able to hear that come through the stream if you have it on the gaming PC of course you gotta make sure your Elgato has the audio routed so you can hear it make sure your audio is good on your computer but if you have it on your streaming PC uh, you should of course definitely hear it no matter what as long as you have it on the desktop audio okay and that does conclude the tutorial on how to download Streamlabs chatbot how to connect it and how to do sound files now if you would like to sh have me show you other aspects within the bot definitely leave a comment below as needed and then we can work on go going over other topics as well and again my name is turbo live make sure you like subscribe and uh, leave a comment again and i'm also a twitch streamer so if you ever are on twitch uh, you can find me at turbo live um, and yeah you guys all have a great time and thank you so much for checking out this video